Here is 1965 Washington quarter struck on a 90% silver planchet. A transitional error coin highly sought after by collectors. According to Stax Bowers, while the mint stopped striking quarters in 90% silver in 1964, a few errant blanks must have remained in mint bins or hoppers that got shaken loose in 1965. The present example clearly spent some time in circulation before a sharp-eyed collector discovered it and brought this scarcity home. Just light wear is seen on this handsome example with just a delicate overlay of soft gray tone. It was sold for $7,200. Next up. Undated Kennedy half-dollar struck on a clad dime planchet. Graded as PR64 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, scarce wrong planchet combination. Business strikes of halves on dimes tend to be uniface, but the present specimen is a San Francisco mint proof striking and shows both sides. The portrait is nicely centered on the undersized flan, with all of the head complete except the tip of the chin. The letters Burr and Liberty are present, but are so distorted from flan expansion that they are illegible. It was sold for $2,220. Here is 1977 Lincoln cent struck on a dime planchet. Graded in Mint State 67 by NGC. The strike is well-centered and, despite the size differential, the copper nickel-clad dime blank took all of the Lincoln cent design. Brilliant and lustrous, this smooth-looking superb gem is a lovely addition to a high-quality collection of modern U.S. Mint-era coinage. It was sold for $840. 1995p Washington Quarter struck on a nickel planchet. Graded in Mint State 66 by NGC. A 1995p Washington quarter struck on a nickel planchet is a rare and intriguing error coin. Unlike standard copper nickel clad Washington quarters, this coin was struck on a planchet intended for a nickel coin, such as a Jefferson nickel. Lower tips of the date numerals are absent due to planchet size difference. Other letterings of obverse are complete. It was sold for $204. 1944 Lincoln sent with obverse lamination. Graded as extremely fine 45 brown by NGC. During the minting process, a portion of the coin's obverse, front, surface experiences lamination, where a layer of the coin's metal splits or peels away. This results in a visible defect on the coin's surface, often resembling a raised or irregular area. The 1944 Lincoln cent is part of the long-running series of Lincoln wheat pennies, minted by the United States Mint. The lamination error on the obverse side of the coin adds a unique characteristic to this particular specimen. It was sold for $80. And there you have it, folks. A glimpse into the world of error coins, where mint slip-ups have given rise to today's sought-after numismatic gems. Thanks for watching this video. God's willing see you in the next episode.